Hi, I'm Gary Jenkins, and nice to see you guys again out there in YouTube land. Today we're going to do another one of our little mini paintings that uh, goes rather fast, rather quickly, maybe five or six minutes, just to give you an idea of what uh, this kind of painting, uh, Wet Into Wet, is all about. I'm using our new paint, beautiful paint, called it's Pigment Power Paint. 14 tubes, it's got more pigment in it than you'll find any place else, believe me. And this is why you'll see this painting pop off of here. We're going to take some deep burgundy. We'll paint some roses. The background is acrylic, uh, black and white, which just makes a gray. And that's what's back there. It's dry. It's not wet. Painting a rose? Well, I just painted it. There's so much... Uh, pigment in it that just a little bit of it and I could just take that little bit and spread it around it just doesn't lose its intensity we're going to take some orange and yellow and we're going to find the top of it boom, boom, boom. wipe the brush this is called the belly of the rose and that goes in there a little white on top just a oh boy look at that <laughs> and we using the side we're just going to kind of pick out some petals. Now go out and get yourself some real roses or if you have a garden, you're lucky enough to have a garden, uh, take a look at uh, the real thing because it really does help to have real flowers to look at. We're just going to kind of indicate that there's some petal back here, just sort of a half circle, look at it go. So we're just getting a feeling of the rose. It's good to do these little quickies because then you don't sp spend a lot of time overworking your painting. So we have a little guy in there and we're going to take a little black and yellow, make a dark green. And maybe we'll have some little guys, little leaves coming in down here. See? See how easy it is? And if you have a question and you're wondering, well, what should I do? Always look at your flower. It always gives you the answer as to what to do. Because, and a rose, again, is the most difficult flower to paint. But just follow along with me and it'll happen for you. We're going to just take a little of this magenta and just get a little of that and wipe. Maybe we'll kind of come up and put another one up here. Block it in. No turp, no medium, no nothing. There's nothing with it. It's very dry. Dry, dry. And we'll pick a petal, a dark out of the middle. And then we'll take our yellow and a touch of orange. And pick the belly out. See it coming up? There's your belly. Ooh. We're going to take some white and yellow. Maybe a little orange in there. Man, you can see it looks like a flower already. These are four shortened edges that are coming out. See? So you use a push down, pull up stroke. Push down and pull up to get those petals. And just sort of indicate that there's something, little half circles, don't make a big deal. It's just a feeling of the flower, that's all we're after. And you practice this, this uh, technique over and over and over. Remember, there's no free lunch. <laughs> Anything that comes too easy to you isn't worth doing, believe me. It takes a little work, but the rewards are so good worth it. And we'll have a little yellow, maybe something coming up here, a little wiggle wiggle, maybe overlap that rose. You see it happen? Maybe something in here, another one in here. So these are just little mini, mini paintings I'm doing for you guys. Just so you get an idea of the technique without going through the whole painting with all kinds of stuff in it. But I, I really like these little minis. Try to do these little minis. Paint them as quickly as you can, and that'll keep you woo, from overworking. Remember, this is pigment power paint. Uh, 
Jenkins Pigment Powder Paint. <laughs> so you can see how by adding a little more white, how it pops, 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 pops. And remember my little, I know you guys know my little bud trick. I load up the brush, pull green on the end, and come on up and push. There's a bud. Push, and there's a bud. And push. <laughs> it's fun to do. It's fun to do. Maybe even another one here. Look at that. Look at it go. Can you see those little baby buds? Fun. Well, there you are, guys. Just a little mini painting for you to practice. Uh, don't forget, I put black and white, beta gray acrylic, and this was dry in the back. And this is just another one of our Jenkins little quickie paintings for you guys on YouTube. Take care, and I'll see you next time.